This is homecoming night for Lincoln. They enter tonight's matchup with a record of one and five, one and four in conference play. The Cyclones are four and two overall and four and one in conference play. The Cyclones will be a little bit, not bad. in the white uniforms, gold pants, gold helmets, the railers in the dark uniforms, dark helmets, and white numerals. Lincoln won the toss. They will be kicking off. They deferred their choice until the second half, however. Wind is blowing out from the Lincoln south this evening. The toss. They have deferred. That means the Cyclones have elected to receive. Lincoln going to kick off, moving left to right. The Railers are ready to kick off now. Pilger deep to receive. Kicks it deep and Pilgrim's going to come up and takes it about the 8. He's at the 10 to the 15, needs a block, and down and across the 20 to the 24-yard line. Mike Pilger brings it out to about the 24-yard line, and that's where the tackle was made by Aaron French. The rail splitters defensively will line up. Mike Pilger running it back for the Cyclones. Ball on the 25 on the far side. Lincoln, the up back, Lambert, the tailback, Ockham, who may day. Now they have a five-man front, and the first man through is into the secondary. Lambert, Lambert jumps into the secondary and picks up 10, 12 yards. Bill Lambert. First down, Cyclones. Lambert on the carry. Lambert on the, the carry. Middle, where Bill Lambert rolls out. Carry of 15. By the Cyclones, number 32. Jason Pop. Pop. Cyclones, ball on the far side, outside of the 40. And the Cyclones out of the huddle, wide side of the field of the near side. Ball on the far hash. They go to Lambert, Lambert to the outside of the 40. Hit the 45, hit the, hit the 50, and now does carry across the 50 down to the 49-yard line, and another Cyclone. First down, Cyclone. First and 10 for the Cyclones, inside the Wayland Tower. First and 10, Cyclones. Ball on the far side, inside midfield. Carry of about eight. Uh, the defenders, Bossy is there on the tackle, but not before a pick of about seven for Phil Lambert. What an impressive yeah. line. Rub to the near side. Second and three. Ball on the Lincoln 42. Quarterback sneak by Humede for a first down. Cyclones ball on the 36, middle of the field. It's Pilgrim to the far side is Grubb. I formation, McGee in tight on the right side. Second man through Lambert. He's at the far side. Lambert, not much better. Down to about the 37-yard line. Quick defense that time by Lincoln. Number 75, Cass Benner makes the stop. Also, Cass Benner makes the stop for the Raiders. An eight ball on the 34, far side of the field. McGee tight end on the left side. I formation, ball on the far hash, wide side of the field, near side. They keep the ball, they pitch it to Lambert. He's right at the 40, 35-30, cuts back, 25-20. Lambert. People down to the 18. What a great play. To First down, Cyclones. And then Humede comes left and pitches the ball, and Lambert carries all the way down the 18-yard line. A big game. Jason, Jason Pop makes the tackle. Yeah, yeah, Sam, I stop by the school about Cyclones, ball on the 18. Near side. They're trying to move everybody in tight. So far, it's been to no avail. First and 10 Cyclones, 18-yard line. Humede goes off inside to Lambert. He's at the 20. He's all oh. caught it in his Lambert is a final tackle by Cleasy. And Cleasy doesn't Lee tackle and Lambert scores. Yeah, that play started to the right, Sam, and Phil cut it all the way back to the left, and Cleese stayed home and did a good job uh, making the tackle. Ball on the 16, near side of the field. Moving right to left, they started this drive at their own 23. Up the middle, they throw a touchdown McGee. He scores. Touchdown, Mike McGee. Oh, in pass from Humayday to McGee, and the Cyclones score on a 17-yard touchdown. If that plays any indication. Jason Woody will attempt the extra point. It'll be out of Woody on the extra point attempt. Jason Woody is to try to point after for the Cyclones. Tough win. We'll see. Snap. Placement. Kick is up. Kick it is up, and it is good. Then they're going to take the wide out. Okay, McGee scored on a 17-yard pass from a mayday at 8.27 in the first period. Woody set the kickoff for the Cyclones, leading 7-0.
77-yard touchdown drive for the Cyclones. Low booming kick. Ball kicked short and picked up by Lincoln and out of bounds at about the 40-yard line. Bringing it back for Lincoln. Oh, yeah, and kick off for Ryan Aw. Aw brings it back. Nice young man, Ryan. He's a senior. I know his father, Tim, of course, graduated in the late 60s. And Ryan First step the right back. And they're going to say he stepped the from inside their own 38 ball in the near hash mark. The up back mark. And we'll check to see who the tailback's going to be. Looks like it's going to be uh, Schlater. And they're going to throw. Here comes the throw. He launches. Man is there. And it is not going to be. Incomplete pass. Second and ten. Wind from the south at the railers' backs, 15 to 18 miles an hour. We'll send four. Here comes the rush. Not much of a rush. Long over the middle. Land wide open. Intercepted. And oh! He had it at the 45 and dropped it. Intended for Schlater. The wind took the ball. Incomplete pass. Kaczynski had it in his hands and dropped it. It'll be 10. Ball on the 38. Lincoln, that is. Pat Sellinger in a secondary spot for... Take it hard, Griffin tonight. Third and long. Please, he's out of the gun. He drops. Screen is set up. He looks. He throws. It is caught. There was that middle screen. First down. There was that middle screen. It was a middle screen to Schlater. And Schlater carries the ball in the Cyclone territory. Cyclone saw it coming, but Lincoln did a pretty good job of blocking it. Lincoln did a real good job of blocking it in the Cyclone. First and ten railers from inside in midfield. Right at midfield. Lincoln ball on the near side. Lawrence is the up back. The tailback is Schlater. Two wide outs. Quarterback is the upper up keeper. Up right in the hole, and he runs over Leach and carries down to the 45 yard line. The quarterback, Freddie Pleasy, yeah, yeah, carried down to the 45. Also in the tackle, John Albrecht, 6 5 2. Gain of 5. And down 6 for the Railers. Ball, second and 5. Ball inside the 45. Or excuse me, Lincoln down in Cyclones territory. Pleasy steps, throws, and it is incomplete. Short pass. Intended for number down five. five. Ball inside the Cyclone 45. Ball in the near hash mark. Lawrence, the up back and behind quarterback Freddie Plazy. Cyclones four down linemen. They pitch the ball back to the short side. They turn it. Fresh way to the outside. Forgot about it. Cyclones did a great. Made it back to the line of scrimmage. Along with Bethsa and Matt Heyman, and it's going to be fourth down. And let's see, Lincoln may or may not punt. They've had the fourth down now for the Raiders. I'm not sure they're going to. Raiders in punt formation. Bilger deep receiver on the 10 yard line. Easy look, and it's end over end. They're going to be out of bounds. Nice kick, and kicks into the end zone. Touchback. Uh, 6.49 left in the first period. 10 Cyclones, ball in the 20, middle of the field. Shift from the left to the right side. Cyclones with their own 20. They lead it by a score of 7 0. High formation. They go off inside Link. Link picks up five and picks up six yards. Schlater's on the stop. Lambert on the carry. Jeff Link picks no, up about six thing. yards from that tailback spot. Three, Link rolled out across the 25 of the 26 that, yard line. Yeah. Schlater trying to make the stop. Also, Tony Schilling, little or no avail. It'll be a second down and four. Yes, yeah, down three. Ball in the 27. Far side of the field. Now lives in Lincoln. This is his youngest son. Second man through Lambert. He's at the 25 to the outside and cut from behind. Out across the 30 to the 33 yard line and the first down. Tony Schelling was able to grab a piece of the jersey as he rolled around and started heading into the turf. And Chris Cincy, the young man we just talked about, 5'10, 165 pound junior, yeah. makes well, the the Six minutes remaining. First, first and ten Cyclones. Ball on the 34. Far side of the field. Luca Pizza tomorrow, don't forget, from 10 to 11. Inside they go, and it's into the secondary link. He's at the 45, all the way out to the 48-yard line. Pick up about 14 yards for Jeff Link. Wait, call the ride. Carries out to the 48-yard line, Todd Bossy. Todd Bossy on the side. Junior, who's dead. First. First and 10, Cyclones. Ball on their own, 48, far side of the field. High formation in behind, who may day goes to Lambert. Lambert. 50 to the outside at the 45, ducks away, and carries all the way down to the 43-yard line. Close, Close to a first down, Again, maybe a yard short. Also Schilling on the stop, but not before Phil Lambert picks up a body. Uh, just running the room, but anything they want right now. Right 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 second down one, ball on the Lincoln 43, far hash mark. 
Augusta, John Albrecht and Mike McGee. Oakland the big hole. Second down to Humay. Quarterback sneak 40, 35. Runs over people down to 30. Humay day. Humay rushes for the first down. Fourteen yard gain. Lincoln calls time at 4:43 in the first period. First down, ten. Cyclones ball on the Lincoln 29. Far hash mark. Out of the I formation, Cyclones moving right to left. They lead it 7 0. Lambert has the ball. He's in the tries to get outside. Great open tackle that time by Pleasy at the 28 yard line. Pleasy has made two outstanding defensive plays. He is one of the finest athletes. Gain of one. The Central State 8 Conference. Yeah, he came up and uh, if it wasn't for him again, Lambert may break it to the outside. Yeah, yeah, the play. Play. Up and nine. Make the nine. Clock running at 4 10. Second down long up the middle. No, they pitch the ball back. Lambert to the inside. Lambert. Lambert. And across the 30 down to the 28. That time, Cece did a great job of turning. Hold on, down, down by Wesley Slater. Came in to wrap him up, and it's going to be third down. And Cyclone. Down nine. Ball on the far hash mark at the 28. Now, if Rep's going to get double motion and slotted left is McGee. They left him almost uncovered. Cyclone's going to look. They throw. McGee is wide open. And he's That's the late penalty marker down. Down inside the 15. McGee didn't get set. That's exactly what it was. McGee, or excuse me, Lake came out slotted left, and he simply didn't get set before the Joe snap. Was wide open. Hit for the he didn't get set, and one of the wide receivers oh, was bouncing off the Sam, and the, uh, the referee looks at them both and says, you know, we got two. Illegal motion. Five yard walk off. But the penalty will bring it back. Tim, I got a question. Fire, buddy. Would Mr. McDermott write a life insurance policy on us anytime it starts lightening up here I'll like it did what. last week? Down in 14. Ball in the 33. Cyclone's got to get down to the 19 for a first down. Umayde is going to roll. He's got plenty of time. He can run. He throws. Incomplete. Pass overthrown. Very close to being over the line. On 14, ball in the 33, middle of the field. Fourth down and long, and Humayde is going to roll. He's got some time. He looks. He pulls That's it. away. But they're going to be close to a first down. First right down. They got it. And they have a first down. Cyclones ball on the 18. 15-yard gain on the play. 247 remaining first quarter. They lead it 7 0. Second man through Lambert. He's out. Lambert. And maybe gets a yard. That's all. Nice job that time by Lincoln. Lambert on the carry. I think what they've done gain is of about two. Defense. By that I mean the defense. Quarterback who made it looks inside, gonna run the option, pitches to Lambert. Oh, Lambert. Lambert. Oh, and slips down. Oh. Went out at the 18 yard line, but he was going nowhere. Bossy and Cece again were there for Lincoln, and it's gonna be a third down. So that was an option play, but I tell you what, Lincoln would have no part of it. And ever since Brum defense... Ball on the 19. Bossy has coverage on Grubb. Ball on the far hash. Humayde is going to look. He throws, and it is incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Incomplete. Fox stopped at 134 in the first period. Let's call time at 134 in the first period. <laughs> Down 11. Fourth and long. Who made it have an understanding? He's going to look. Here's the rush. He throws. He throws. He throws. Pass incomplete. No flag. Raiders get the first down. Railers get the first down. And Railers ball on the 18. Far hash mark. Wrapped up by Jeff Link is there. Link was there. Albrecht was there. Jeff Link on the hit for Griffin. And it'll be second down and no gain. Clock in the red. 51 seconds left in the first period. It is. Knocked down and incomplete. Pass incomplete. Number 14 got down to about the fourth. Third down nine. 47 seconds left in the first period. Ball on the far side. Fumbled. Steve Bessel was there to cover him. Please, he had it. Lost it. Fell out of the end. 
Want that holy war story again? I guess we're crazy. Oilers in punt formation. Clock running down. 12, 11, 10. It over. It's going to be taken by Pilger. Pilger, nope, they're going to let it bounce, and he can't. It's going to go down at about the 46 yard line. Lincoln not touching it, now they do, and Cyclone's going to get pretty good field. Nope, wait a minute. One second, one they second stopped that remaining. clock with one second. I can't believe that. No, you don't stop the clock with one second. We could have turned it off. They, could have, they started, though, don't they? Uh, yeah, they should they, start. They, they yeah. should start the clock, and that's going to be... Okay. One second remaining, and... Yeah, we do, and they still haven't started the clock. They haven't started. I don't believe this. One second left on the clock. The referee said start the clock, and they didn't. Second man through at the 45 and carries down to the 43-yard line to pick up about four. The Lincoln Tiger forgot to start the clock. It'll be second and six at the end of the first quarter. It's second and six. Lincoln has to be back in the first quarter. What's the score? Lincoln They're frisking down eight. Ball on the Lincoln 43. Ball on the near side as the switch direction. Cyclones now heading north. Lincoln heading south. We start the second quarter. Cyclones on top, 7-0. Second down and about seven. And they're going to throw. They look, they throw. It is McGee. He's the first 25 to 20. 15, he's going to score. 10-5 touchdown. McGee scores on a 43-yard play. The tight end, Mike McGee, got away from Schlater. And McGee. Touchdown at 11-54 in the second period. Woody on the extra point attempt. Kick is up. Kick is good. Woody in kickoff formation. Jared Allen on the near side. Tony Guy on the far side. Three deep to receive for Lincoln. at the 10. And they will try, and John Ingram in the middle. Woody attempts to kick, and he does, and kicks it off, and it's going to be deep and taken back. Deep. Taken at the three. Five, in trouble, and down he goes, and he crosses 15 to the 17-yard line. Cyclones make the stop right there. Cyclones cover, P.J. Tetone down to cover. Also covering for the Cyclones. Bill Burns in on the stop. First and 10 Railers, ball on the 17. First and 10 for Lincoln, ball at the 17 yard line. Cyclones lead at 14-0. We're early in the second quarter. Second man, Slater, and maybe got to the line of scrimmage, and they push him back, and that's all. Yeah. Cyclones shut out another, folks. That's 19 quarters yeah. in the last 19 quarters. Eight second down, ten. Ball on the 17. Ball on the near hash mark. They need to drive here. They need to down. Second down and ten. Has Rain's starting to fall here in Lincoln. Complete. Tony got to Mike Pilger. And nice grab by Mike Pilger. Mike Pilger back to Mike Pilger. Mike Pilger back to Mike Pilger. Mike Pilger back to Mike Pilger. Mike Pilger back Railers, ball on the 32. Rain really starting to fall here. 10.29 remaining, first half. Guy goes off inside, and Slater carries out across the 35. Carries across to the 36. Second down and six. He's back at the 30. They haven't got him yet over the middle. Incomplete. Pass incomplete. Brad Shaw. Ten. Third down. Plays the out of the shotgun. Back at the 30-yard line. Third down. There's the snap. He's going to look. He's got some time. Launches. Throws. Pass complete. Taken out at the 48. Ball on their own, 48 ball in the near hash mark. High formation for Lincoln, wide side of the field to the right, 9.25 remaining in second quarter. Cleasey's going to look. He's got some time. He launches, he throws, in. Pass is incomplete. Down 10. Shot to the far side, guy to the near side. Schilling ends up tight on the right side. Now they're going to operate out of the shotgun, almost out of the wishbone. Cleasey has him down. It'll be second down. Cleasey, here comes the rush. Not much. Launches, throws. Pass complete at the Cyclone 41. Yeah, they uh, they found the new guy on the and Railers at the Cyclone 41. Selinger has matched him up. The guy's doing a pretty good job. I think he's got Pat Selinger right now talking to himself a little bit. Cyclones haven't put much pressure on Pleasy. Here comes the rush. Still plenty of time. Long pass. And 
the shutout string is broken at three games on a beautiful 41-yard pass play. 41-yard touchdown from Pleasy to Guy. And that's the Pleasy to Guy. Point attempt. Pleasy may be as good a passer as there is in this, in this league. There's the snap. Snap, kick is up, kick is blocked. And Tony Guy scored on a 41 yard. He didn't even play much the first five games. He scored three touchdowns the last two weeks. And over in kick, going to be taken by the Cyclone. Cyclones have it spanning 25 30 to the outside, right up the middle, out right across the 35, gets just short of the 40 yard line. I'll tell you what, let's see how the Cyclones offense. The defense has been stunned. And Cyclones ball at the 39. Uh, up the middle, 45, 50. McGee all the way out there. Six yard line, McGee picks up 15 yards. Excuse me, Link, Jeff Link picks up 15. Link on the carry. 15 yard carry. McGee just scored on a pass. Cyclones ball at the Lincoln 47. Penalty on the. Lined up in the neutral zone. So it'll move it from the 47 down to the 42, I believe. Offsides, and it is... Offsides against Lincoln. Gain of five. That's Brandon Broson. <laughs> First down five, ball on the 42. They go off the middle, it's Link at the 40, it's the 35, at the 30, and he's still on his feet, and out of bounds he goes, steps out of bounds, the 27-yard line. First down, Cyclones, Link on the carry. Play first and 10 Cyclones on the Lincoln 27, ball on the far hash mark. The 27-yard line, who made it, he's going to run the option. He's going to keep the ball, and down he goes at the 29-yard line. Loss of two. Second down, 12. Lambert into the secondary. He may go all the way. He will. Touchdown, Lambert. 29-yard play. Woody on the extra point attempt. Shutout streak they had going. Woody will attempt the extra point. Snap, kick. Snap, kick is up. Kick is good. Touchdown comes at 7:20. It was a 28-yard run by Lambert. Cyclones ready to kick off again, leading 21-6. Andy Lambert so far doing a great job. 96 yards on 14 carries thus far. Bill Lambert unofficially 96 yards and 14 carries. Woody kicks the ball. Taken by, well, right through the hand. A French picked up by Ingram, and Ingram is smacked at the 27-yard line. Oh, my, and I mean, again, it was big number 70 for the Cyclones. And then 10, Railers. Ball on the 28, on the near hash mark. In Lincoln, when it hasn't been on Lincoln radio. But I remember doing that today, so I keep thinking that I'm uh, doing Lincoln Radio. Please bear with me. This is a tough adjustment. Here comes Pleasy. He's got a lot of time. Ooh, what I mean. It's intercepted. intercepted. Pass picked off. Number five on the interception. Oh, yeah. Bang. Got away and is wobbling. First and ten. Cyclones on the Lincoln 38. Ball on the far side. Who made a passing? <laughs> Pilger. Pilger on his feet all the way to the seven. Goal Cyclones ball on the eight. First and goal Cyclones eight yard line. Pitch the ball back to Lambert. Lambert. Yard line. Later, wrapping up, putting in a 360 spin down about the two yard line. Right. Of second goal. Six minutes exactly remaining. Gain of six on the play. Unofficially, Lambert has 100 and two yards. 102 yards on 15 carries unofficially for Lambert. 
Second and goal from the two. Officially 101 yards for Phil Lambert. Power high formation, now everybody in tight. They'll go off inside and down to the one yard line. Link, close to the goal line. Also CC on the stop, and it'll be a third and goal from the one. It'll be third down inches. Big Hoff is up there. Albrecht is out there. Lawrence is out there. Right there on the front doorstep. One foot. One foot line. Third and inches. Full house backfield. Lambert is back there. Leach and Jeff Link. And quarterback Steve Humayday. Humayday takes a sneak for one yard to score a touchdown. One yard run comes at 5 3 in the second quarter. Kick is up. Kick is good. Really? Hey, buddy. Woody kicks the ball away, and it's going to be Jared Allen for Lincoln. Take it back to the he comes up to the middle, veers out, stops, stutter, stepped, and down he goes in a sea of white shirts. Puts him on a sea cruise. Back at the 24-yard line, it'll be first and 10. Lincoln from that spot with 4 minutes, 56 seconds remaining in the first half, and Lincoln has scored once. Ball outside the 25-yard line. On the near side. You can't take many more licks like he took the last time. Here he comes out of the gun again. And he's going to throw. And Vespa's eye in his case. And he launches it. And it is caught out there and by Guy. The it's a 30 yard yeah. line. Bilger comes up quickly to make the stop. Please. He was running for his life and launched it. It's a five yard gain from the 25 out to the 30. But a nice grab by Tony Guy. Yeah, Sam, you said he was an excellent athlete. And I mean, he just showed it there. He's on a dead run and throws it on the money on a 25 yard. Second down, four, ball inside the 30 on the far hash mark. Cyclones, four down linemen, four linebackers. Up to the middle they go and that was no Schlater the ball carrier and maybe got a back to the line of scrimmage and that is all. Leach is on the stop, again P.J. Tetone on the stop and it's gonna be third down, third down and four. Third down, four for the Railers. Ball still on the far hash mark. In, in Springfield. We're going to be there tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Third down. Here comes the rush. Please, he launches it. Man falls down. But it's over. Intended for Guy. Willenborg was there. And so was Grubb. But Grubb had slipped. 20 remaining in the first half. Railers in punt formation. Snap. Here it comes. They almost get it. They don't. Please, off the side of the foot. Across the 50, across the 45. And ball down at the 43. Line. Right. Three thirteen remaining in this first half. Mike Deasy and Bossy do. Michaels had two uncovered wide receivers on the near side. High formation in behind who made it. He looks, he throws, and it's not down. Oh, it's 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 for the On ten, ball on the far hash mark at the forty-three. Clock at three oh seven. Near side for the Cyclone. Lincoln with 6-7 now, down lineman. They go up the middle, and it is Link. Link drifts up. Up. After he gets out to the 45-yard line, Jeff Link. Can of two. And tripped him up. Aaron a couple of yards. Guard was able to submarine the play, and it's going to be third down. Long ball just outside the 45. Link goes in motion to the left. Now he'll go slot left. He made A's going to throw. He looks, he throws, Link has it, and down he goes. Pass is completed. Going to be short of the first down. They'll have to pump the ball away. First time tonight that Lincoln has held on uh, defense. They're going to force. Humayde in punt formation. For Clock at 2.07 and running. As Humayde will stand inside the 40 to kick it away with two minutes remaining. There's the snap. There's the kick by Ockram. Turns it over. Fair catch signal. Oh, damn, they fall on it and fumble it. And Lincoln falls on it. Galvaz and Lawrence. Called for a fair catch. They fumbled it, but Cece was there to fall on it at the 20-yard line. Good play for uh, Lincoln. They got a little time on the clock. Uh, you know, they scored. Uh, Lincoln ball at the 21. He'll have to work his way back in a little bit. Please throw short man. Pass caught by Shaw. Pass incomplete. Shaw has it. Pass incomplete. Leach on the cover for on 10. Buck 40 remaining in the first half. Ball on the far side. 
There they come out of the shotgun. Pleasy is out of the gun again. Has got two guys next to him on the near side. His guy. Pleasy's going to look. He launches. He throws. Man is there. And he's holding, holding on the Cyclones. Grubb was holding guy. That'll be a 15-yard penalty. Yeah, he hooked him when he went, you know, with the old hitch and go, and he bit on that hitch, and when he went by him, he grabbed the hit of it. Penalty flag thrown on that play. Defense is concerned about the defensive secondary tonight? Pass interference. We haven't seen anybody this year. Against the Cyclones. Fifteen yard penalty will give Lincoln a first down. And that's to, to their, to their At the 36. First and 10. Lincoln ball on the 36. Middle of the field. Lazy out of the shotgun again. The snap. Here it comes. He's got some time. Launches. Incomplete. Pass. Incomplete. Second down. 10. Second down. 10. Ball at the 35 yard line. Here comes Pleasy. Great protection. Throws. Caught. Ball out of bounds at the 45. Pass comes 46. 44. That is going to be two yards short of a first down. Clock at 123. Lincoln gets a favorable spot. At the 46, it'll be first and 10 railers at that point. Clock moving at 111. Pleasy go out of the shotgun. Three wide receivers on the right side. Schilling's out there, and pleasy has got some time. He looks, he throws, he launches. It's in Pass overthrown. Clock is stopped at 101. Down 10 railers. Somewhat, but the rain has picked up here on Lincoln again. We're high atop the press box. Second down, 10. Pleasy once again out of his shotgun. He has two wide receivers, horn to the near side. Pleasy, look. He's got plenty of time. Long play, overthrown. Clock now in the red at 58 seconds. It'll be third and 10. Hitch and go, I mean. Railers. Ball still on the 46. And Virgo in the afternoon. Cole catering. Here comes Pleasy. He launches. He throws. And First and ten railers, ball on the cyclone forty-two. Two seconds remaining in the half. Rain starting to pour down here at Heinler Field. Lazy has him down. High formation. Low snap. He goes back here with the screen set up. They throw it perfectly. Slater cuts back. He's into the secondary and gonna be down at the thirty-five yard line. It was the middle screen. Gain of about seven. Clock moving at thirty-eight. And Lincoln calls time at 38 seconds. The Railers ball on the 43. No, wait a minute, that's not correct. 34. The throw. It is intercepted. Interception by. 45-40. One man to beat, and Pleasy makes the touchdown. Kilger. Down at the 35-yard line. Jason Spence um, out there yes. and missed the block on five. Oh, yeah. 27 seconds in the first half. Is the rain in Georgia? No, it's at Lincoln. We're going to have an IHSA report at halftime. We're going to move our equipment down inside at halftime. Uh, so we invite you to stay around, but it's going to be a wet, foggy crowd at Lincoln, and most of them after the halftime show will be heading for cover. 28-6 score. Cyclone over Lincoln. To go in Cyclones. goes off to Link. Link at the 25. He Link rolls to the 21 yard line. 21 seconds. I think they're going to try to put it in the air. Cyclones going to go without a huddle. They'll have to move the sticks. When they move the sticks, 21 seconds left in the first half. They will start the clock once the sticks are in place. 21 seconds remaining. And they are now. Clock is moving. Long count who made day, and he's going to throw. We're going to see who he throws it in the corner. Corner! It's incomplete. Second down, 10. Ball in the 21. Far hash mark. They're going for it. He made a roll. He's got plenty of time. He looks, he throws. Pass incomplete. 
Third down, 10. Eight seconds remaining in the first half. Ball on the 21-yard line. Far hash mark. Pass is complete. Four seconds. First down, four seconds remaining. It would not surprise me if the Cyclones call time. Holding against Cyclones. Oh, boy. They called holding against the Cyclones and Ken Leonard. Will they call that back or? Yeah, I think Kenny's going to buy 15. Look at him. Yeah. No, he must have got a timeout. He did get a timeout, but he's letting the official know what he thought about that call. Yeah. It was down at the five-yard line, and they called holding now, on the Cyclones. But how can they call holding at the 20-yard line? That's where the flag is thrown, yes. and they're walking it off from the 20. Now, timeout Cyclones, four seconds remaining. Ball walked off to the 31. Third down. Are they going to try a Jason Woody field goal? I do believe so. Huh? I think the ball is Woody field goal. It's a 48-yard field goal attempt by Woody. Wind to the back. It could happen. We'll find out. You think they're going to fake? No, I, I, no. no I, think, I think you can make it with this big win behind you. I think you can get it there now to whether it's going to be accurate. 28 to 6. I, I've noticed tonight, and the thing that bothers me is the snaps and the placement is not really strong, but obviously the position. I'm not convincing that because it is raining a gale. This will be the last play of the first half. Once again, Woody attempts a 48-yard field goal attempt. Kick is up. Kick is short. He did not like the holding. To Lincoln, Illinois, for the second half of tonight's ball game between the Cyclones and the Railers. Cyclones lead 28 to 6. Just a reminder that this tape is property of Sicardar Griffin High School, and any usage of this tape without the express written or verbal consent of the Sacred Heart Griffin football program is strictly prohibited and we're just about ready to kick off the second half Cyclones defending the south goal for the third period went to their backs Okay, Touchback in the end zone. Killers ball at the 20 yard line. Middle of the field. On eight. Third down four, Railers, ball on the 26, near hash mark. Option play, and drop for a seven to eight yard loss. Fourth down and long. Railers in punt formation. And there you see in the background, some of the patrons already leaving. Taking cover under the rain. Ball touched at the Lincoln 40 yard line. First down, 10 Cyclones. Ball at the 39. No. 
Link carries 10 yards. First down. Down one. Ball inside the 30. Kumede is going to be knocked out. No, he's got the touchdown. Kumede with a 30 yard touchdown run. Touchdown run came at 9.21 in the third period. Woody, an extra point formation. Kick is up. Kick is. Kick is no good. No good. Woody set the kick off. Yeah, Touch back. Ten railers ball at the twenty. Knocked for a loss of five. Penalty flag on the play. Face mask, the initial call against the Cyclones. 15 yard face mask penalty from the side of the infraction. Moves the ball up to the 31. First and 10 railers. Ball in the middle of the field. Gain of five. Six ball just inside the 35 yard stripe, middle of the field. Four ball on the 37, middle of the field. Pass complete. First and ten railers, ball on the Cyclone 38, far hash mark. Down and six. Ball on the Cyclone 34. Double reverse screen. First down, Railers. First and ten for the Railers. Ball on the Cyclone 26. Short gain. Second down eight, ball in the 24. Pass is incomplete. Ball on the 24. 525 remaining in the third period. Ball is on the far hash mark. Screen pass. Not bad, not bad. 
Bob, that, uh, they are taken to the line of scrimmage and no further. Down and eight, and they are going for it. I would think they'd go for the field goal, but they're going for the first down. And he gets through for a touchdown. Number 34 goes 24 yards for the touchdown. Touchdown comes at 432 in the third quarter. They're attempting a two-point conversion. Two-point conversion, no good. Railers to kick off. Spang goes about 10 yards on the return. It'll be first and 10 Cyclones from their own 37. Link goes for the first down and more. He's still on his feet. Finally brought down at the 33. Great gain by Link. First and 10 Cyclones. Ball is marked at the 34. Option play to Lambert. And Lambert scrambles for eight yards. They will give him seven. And down three, ball on the 27. Lam oh. First down. And Cyclones ball marked at the 18. Pilger goes for the touchdown. Who made a pass to the Pilger for 18 yards at the 250 mark in the third period. Kick is up by Woody. Kick is good. <laughs> Woody set the kick off for the Cyclones. Fumble. Recovery. And knock back at the 17 yard line. Ball on the near side at the 17, first and 10, Lincoln. Second and 13. Ball on the Lincoln 14 yard line. Long pass play complete. And he is crushed by three Cyclone defenders, but not before he takes it to the Lincoln 47 for a first down. 33 yards on that play. Buck 25 remaining in the third period. First and 10 from the 47. Middle of the field. Shotgun. Pass is complete and he goes for the first down. 
It'll be marked at the 43. It'll be just enough for the first down. Jack Lee on the top for Griffin. They will call for a measurement, I'm almost certain. No, they call first down. First and ten, Railers from the Cyclone 43. Clock now in the red, 38 seconds and running. Ball on the near side. Almost picked off. 25 seconds in the third period. Second down, 10. Ball on the near hash mark. Screen, tip. Still caught. Taken down from behind. Gain of seven on that play as time runs down in the third period. It'll be third down and three when we start the fourth quarter. Okay, we start fourth quarter action. Score, Sycadore Griffin, 41. Lincoln, 12. It's third down and four. Ball on the 37 yard line in the middle of the field. Rain still coming down. Not as hard as it was just before halftime, but still a soggy mess out there for the second week in a row. Here it is. Here comes something. Long play. It's picked off. He's running. Knocked out of bounds. Szynski knocked out at the 33. It'll be first and 10 Cyclones from that point. Officials call time. I believe for player equipment, they restart action. And the Cyclones are close to midfield, down at the 48. First and ten Cyclones. Ball in the middle of the field. They advance to the Lincoln 45 for a gain of seven. Down in three. Link with the carry. He definitely got the first down on that play. At 10.47 in regulation. And 10 Cyclones ball on the Lincoln 32. <laughs> ball just outside the 30 yard line near hash mark. Option play to Carter. Carter shoved out at the 26. Down four. Carter tripped up at the 22. He is going to be close. I don't know. He's going to be close. They say first down at 9.27, clock running. First and 10 of the cyclone of the Rare 23 yard line. Fumble with the Fumble. 
Recovered by Lincoln at 9-10 in regulation. First and 10 for the Railers from their own 17. Clock moving at 8.55 in regulation. And they're going deep. Third down and five. We apologize for the interruption there on one play. The power just conked out momentarily. Hopefully we have that problem fixed for the remainder of the evening. Pass intercepted. Good time to have that happen. And Cyclones from their own 31. Carter to the outside. Carter on the outside. Moving to the first down at the 20. Maybe the 19. First and 10 Cyclones from the 20. Ball on the far hash mark. Fumede keeps and goes for five. Second down, five. Clock now at the seven minute mark. Carter on the outside breaks in. And he goes in towards the five yard line for a first and goal situation. And goal cyclones from the five. Clock moving, 6.30 remaining in regulation. Penalty flag. And apparently it is going to be against the Cyclones. I think it's an illegal receiver violation against the Cyclones. Knocks the ball back to the 10 yard line where it'll be first and goal from the 10. Carter the outside again. Carter again with the pitch. He gets back to the original line of scrimmage where it'll be third and goal from the five. Rain slacking off considerably now. Third and goal from the five. Ball on the far hash mark. Ouch. That'll be fourth and goal from the eight. And they'll be held just short. It'll be first and ten, Lincoln from their own five. No, now it's fourth down. I stand corrected. I thought that was fourth down previously. It is up and it is good. Woody gets three points on the board, making it a 44-12 game. At 4.49. Need to kick off. Cyclones will be back at Memorial Stadium next week for their homecoming game against the Tornadoes of Taylorville High School. John Adam on a kickoff return. The return was pushed out of bounds at the 27, where it'll be first and 10 Lincoln. First and 10 Lincoln, ball on the near hash mark. Next week ends conference play. The Cyclones will be looking to enter that final conference contest with a 5-1 and one record. Looking to finish 
in a solid second in conference play and hopefully a playoff berth. Second and about five. Ball at the 27. Screen incomplete. It'll be third down. Third and ten. I, <laughs> I have no idea what I did on that last play other than calling it wrong. But that one was incomplete. No flag on the play. Perfectly legal in the eyes of the referee. Now stalled at 3.59 in regulation. And Lincoln is in punting formation. Pilger receives at the 38 and slips at the 44. That's just an example of what a wet field will do. First down 10, Cyclones from their own 43. Carter on the outside and taken down at the line of scrimmage. Okay, after an official's timeout for an injured player, we return to football action. 3.24 remaining in regulation. Ball still on the 43. It is second down. Ball at the 47, gain of four on that play. Third down and six. Way short of the first down. Fourth and long for the Cyclones. I think they'll run off as much time as they possibly can and they'll effectively use that by using the run. And Lincoln will take over on downs. First and ten, Railers. Buck 35 remaining in the game. Ball at the Cyclone 47. Pass. Deflected. It'll be second and ten. Second down ten. Ball on the Cyclone 47. Far hash mark. Option play. And he will get the first down and more. As he's taken down at around the 35. First and ten railers. About 110 remaining in this game. Cyclones will improve to five and one overall, five and two overall, five and one in conference play. Lincoln will drop to one and five in the conference play, one and six overall. Ball marked at the 24. That'll be another first down for Lincoln. Clock now in the red. 40 seconds remaining. First and ten, Lincoln. Tripped up at about the 20-yard line, and the clock will keep on moving. Man, on the top for Conceivably the last play of the game. Two, one. Buffalo, they play. 
See you next week from Memorial Stadium. Thank you for coming out and sharing the homecoming festivities. Drive on